One race remains here at the 2016 SEC Outdoor Track and Field Championships. And you see Arkansas will be the team champion for the first time since 2013. There's a look at the pertinent numbers here in the 4x4. Collegiate record, LSU from the SEC. Meet record, A&M Aggies, season best in college and the conference also belongs to the LSU Tigers. It's supposed to be two heats. Uh, we've sweetened and condensed it. Uh, Dwight, Larry, you just got one to call and it's all yours. All right, John, with scratches by Missouri, Kentucky, and Auburn, Alabama moves into lane one for a one-section men's 4x400 relay final. Just nine teams from the conference contesting this last race. As you mentioned, Al Al Arkansas already with the team title. This is for pride, and believe me, this is a big-time pride race in the SEC. <laughs> LSU you're looking at right there. Don't go away, everybody. End of a long, tough three days of competition. But how fast can LSU and some of these other teams run? The national collegiate record is 2 minutes, 59.59 .59 seconds. They have run through just over three minutes this year and have the fastest time in the world, does LSU. You're looking at Lamar Bruton who will lead off for, L for uh, LSU, excuse me, and that is Texas A&M down beside him and Dion Hickey, who will be in lane seven, LSU in six. And just inside LSU in lane five will be Florida. Kunli Fasasi, the freshman, will lead them off in a very strong quartet for the Gators. There is Kunli Fasasi. They have a very strong team, this Florida. I look at these guys, this is very strong. And of course, the other teams are too. LSU, Lamar Bruton, Michael Cherry, uh, Cyril Grayson, and Fitzroy Dunkley is anchoring. A&M with Hickey, Robert Grant, the 400-meter hurdler, Donovan Brazier, we can get a watch on him. He'll be running the third leg, anchoring the 400-meter champion, no less, Fred Curley. LSU wow, this running, is going to be something, has man. Run three flat 38 this year. That would be better than the championship meet record were they to do it here. Now, here's how good that time is. The United States team that competed, and they've run some races out, on, out west at the Penn Relays, at Drake Relay Races. Their best time's 302 so far, USA Blue. And this is better than teams from Japan and Brazil. And, uh, and another uh, team called the Gainesville Elite. A lot of our potential Olympian 400 meter guys training in Gainesville. So it is, this is just outstanding deep 400 meter running in this conference. Best in the world. Definitely LSU's race to lose. They are much better on paper than any other team. Well, I think- By seconds. Florida, uh, yeah, I agree with you in the past, but I look at Florida's team. These guys are running well. And boy, A&M's no slouch either. I think it'll be closer than it is on paper for the past year. So it is Alabama, South Carolina, Tennessee, Arkansas, then Florida, LSU, Texas A&M, Mississippi State, and Georgia on the outside. All the way in lanes the first time, plus the third turn in lanes. Then they break for the pole on the back stretch. Now, Fasasi's run extraordinarily well. He's got the baton for Florida. He's going to pass to Armand Hall in the second leg. He's up against Michael Cherry from LSU and Robert Grant from AM. This is going to be a tremendous next leg. AM running well. Let's see who passes the baton first. It's LSU, LSU in six, and then on the outside, Georgia passed second. 45-4 opener for Lamar Bruton. 45-4, that's just off the 400 meter time, but won the, NC, uh, won the SEC title. Yeah, this is Michael Cherry on the second leg for LSU, and he has a nice, I'd say, eight or nine meter gap. That looks like Robert Grant for Texas A&M running second for them. Armin Hall, Jane Gino Hall's in third. Now remember, this guy ran 44.2 seconds in a meet earlier did Michael Cherry. These guys can't gain on him. A good head of steam for Michael Cherry, he hands up to Cyril Grayson, a good pass there. And a hands off second to Donovan Brazier. 44-3, OMG. All right, we're back under three minutes right now if we got 245 second legs out of LSU. 
Talk about matching the 44-2 that you ran earlier by Cherry. What a guy. Talk about breaking the race open. I'm sure at LSU, Dennis Shaver knew that he could stretch a lead here. Cyril Grayson doing a good job on third leg. a and Donovan Brazier doing also a fine job for Florida. That is Hugh Graham Jr. Cyril Grayson's running this leg back. They're going for a record. Fitzroy Dunkley, a good pass again for LSU. AM, Donovan Brazier held on to second for AM. 45 3 for that leg for LSU's Cyril Grayson. If he runs 45 flat, they're under three minutes. Incredible. This is a college team running faster than almost any Olympic teams do, say five or six at the Olympic Games for their countries. 45-83 for Hugh Graham and Florida. Now it's just about the clock. LSU's gonna win this race by a lot. And do they go under three minutes? It'll be a championship record if they do. Dunkley holding up well. And he's so close. The clock did not stop. Here we get in a time on the score. 48. Oh. Wow. Just a tenth off their season leading time. Did not break three minutes. It's only been done three times in history. 45 2 by Fitzroy Dunkley. So even a 45 flat still wouldn't have put him under three minutes. So LSU now has the two fastest times in the world. And in a year when teams are trying to have their best four by fours run in major meets because of the Olympics, and they still have the two fastest times in the world. Well, Michael Cherry blew it open for LSU with that 44 3 carry. And who knows what we might see them do up in Eugene, Oregon in a month's time. LSU easily the winner. Najee Glass with a 45 1 closer for Florida. They run 303 36. I told you on paper, forget about three seconds practically a victory against a Florida team that was stacked.